In this week's job search tip, we're going to be going over how you should explain being fired in a job interview. We're going to look at some examples of what you should say and some examples of what you really should avoid. That's coming up. Hey guys, I'm Kim with Snagajob, your number one source for hourly jobs, and welcome to Job Hunters, our weekly job search advice show, where we give you tips from resume advice to interview advice and everything in between. Now this week we're going to talk about how to explain that you've been fired in a job interview. This can be really awkward, but it's important to remember that everyone makes mistakes, so we're going to walk you through it. So what you don't want to do is give an answer that makes it look like you're blaming your former employer or coworkers. They fired me because they're idiots. This one dummy said I was stealing Capri Suns from the break room, but it wasn't me. It was him. I swear I wasn't stealing. You also want to avoid anything that makes you look like you're a bad employee or that you're a little scary. Punch the customer. They said I was late too many times. I put on Facebook that I hate my job, but I forgot that my boss and I were friends. Whoops. They had this stupid rule about showing up on time. I hit on my boss. So to explain why you lost your last job and how it won't hold you back from the next one, you want to concentrate on three things. One, discuss what happened. Two, talk about what you've learned. And three, explain why it won't ever happen again. So you want to make sure you can talk honestly and sincerely about what happened. Otherwise, employers may avoid hiring you thinking that this may happen again. So we were asked on YouTube, what if you were fired once because you were already late for work and the interviewer asked you why you were fired? That's a great question. Now here's how I would answer. While it's uncharacteristic of me to be late to work, there were a few times where I was late coming in. Uh, I've since learned the value of being on time and strive to make that something that I do every day. And I hope I have the opportunity to prove that to you. So this question can be scary and it's not the easiest thing to explain in a job interview. So make sure you come prepared to practice this answer if they do ask you why you were fired. So thanks for joining us today. If you liked this video, please let us know and we'll keep making videos like this. And if you have any questions about your job search, ask us below and we may even make a video about it. Now don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by giving that button one little click and you'll get a new video every Wednesday. And if you're ready to get started on your job search, click the button down at the bottom of the screen and it'll take you to snagajob.com where you'll find tons of jobs in your area. Have a great week! In this week's job search tip, we're going to tell you about how... <laughs> While it is uncharacteristic for me to be late to work, there were a few occasions when I would have found... When I found... I have to admit there were a few times at my last job where I was running late. That sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> last time for real. In this week's job search tip... <laughs> so I put on Facebook that I hate my job. Oh wait. Do you want me to not do the... <laughs> I'm just thinking about how much my parents love these videos and do it for my parents. There you go. <laughs> Over Pat and Joe. Hey, Mom. You <laughs> thought you were going to start laughing. Thanks for joining us today. If you like this video, please let us know so we'll know to continue and make. Maybe I should wrap this. No? How to explain? Am I going to be. Okay, now I'm done. Do I need to do that again? Or just... No? <laughs> hey, Mom and Dad.